I want to introduce my new book entitled Dawning of the Mind. It's 40 pages of my most recent and unreleased illustrations along with stories. It is my first endeavor into writing a full manuscript or digest, if you will. Here, one of the pages, it has one of my illustrations and then the book follows a storyline, a hermetic storyline, that going uh, on a journey from darkness and initiation. And then this page says, at the swamp, you might find yourself accompanied by blood-sucking leeches and mosquitoes. So too are there similar entities on the etheric realm. These creatures which parasitically feed from the energy emitted by negative emotions of humans and suffering of animals are disconnected from the source of life, so they must survive by siphoning it from unknowing hosts. Humans have a series of energy bodies which extend out from the physical, much like the subtle layers of atmosphere which separate Earth from the vacuum of space. These energy bodies can be perturbed or perforated so that the life force seeps out from the individual's core and into the ether. The most common way of etheric soul seepage is due to negative emotions. When one feels sad, lonely, depressed, paranoid, jealous, heartbroken, or any variety of fear, one will leak not only tears but emotional energy. This appears as a puff of steady cloud-type substance, which has its own unique smell and taste in a fifth-dimensional sense. Like blood attracting sharks and water from great distances, these creatures congregate and swarm on a person's suffering, sorrows, or folly. They descend down and feed on the negative emotions, which is often why people describe feeling heavy or burdened by the weight. They will describe a demon on the back or a monkey on the shoulders, and in many cases, some will say, something came over me. This is the psychic knowing that one has become afflicted by way of these negative energy drinking parasites. The most terrifying aspects of these pesky entities is that they latch on, and in some cases, grow tentacle-like roots deep into the chakras of the host and seed the host with more of these thought patterns which triggered the initial energy loss. It is a conscious effort on the part of the parasite to continue the patterns of negative emotions so that the delivery of their food will be ensured. They prefer anything in cities. Now this is just one excerpt and the rest of the book goes on some very thought-provoking Gnostic ideas. It's available now. It's brand new. It's called Dawning of the Mind. I hope that you would take the time to check it out.